Hi friends, this is Gani. Today I am going to explain you uh, how to create column with stiffener 186 connection. This type of connection. Just like this type of connection. A column to rafter connection with this type of connection. Okay. Before going to start, uh, for more Tecla related videos, go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video go through it here you can find out so many tecla related videos okay. i will upload every day a new video please come here and watch these videos please click on subscribe button if you click uh, if you subscribe you will get notification when I upload new videos. You will get updates. Okay, let's start. Before going to give the connection, I am going to place these columns and beams once again. Take the column and place here, just like this here. You can control the column uh, height from here, bottom zero, and I am going. Uh, I have entered the value 20 feet. You can enter like that. If you don't know how to create how to place this column i clearly explain step by step in my previous videos go to my channel and watch it i'm going to take the beam here to here and then go to the application and components by using the shortcut ctrl f here you can see you, for the first time you can see like this and go to the steel detailing tab in beam to co column connections tab and here this is the column with shift 186 i'm going to explain this type of connection macro now click on it and close this window and select the column and then beam if you don't know how to select you can uh, watch the window here pick the main part the column is the main part and then select then pick the secondary part this is the beam is the secondary part then select it here you can see uh, click on redraw view I am going to rotate this one by using the control R shortcut for rotation. Uh, this is the connection column with stiffener 186. How to control this uh, this here top plate thickness and length and number of volts and dia? We will see now. Okay, double click on this connection. You will find out uh, this window type window in this window. You can control uh, this here the flange and beam between the gap you can control the gap distance how much here you can enter here for example I'm going to take half inch and I'm click on modify you will get the result here modify it. now the distance between column to beam is 1 by 1 by 2 for example I am going to take 1 by 4 inch I am using US Imperial that's why I am going to enter the values here inches if you are using other environments uh, depends upon your environments uh, your units might be changed but the uh, concept remains same I am going to take 1 by 4 you can uh, see here result click on modify here you can see now the gap must be 1 by 4 you can control this gap uh, from this option and then after that go to the place tab uh, this is the tab plate tab plate indicates this and uh, this plat plate thickness you can control from this option uh, this thickness you can control this thickness for example i'm going to take uh, 1 by 2 half inch thickness uh, i'm going to change that modify it here you can see it the plate thickness must be half inch now redraw it once again i'm going to take this click on this connection and then go to the stiffener uh, for number of bolts and length you can control from bolt tab go to the bolt tab here uh, the bolt size you can control from here i'm going to take half inch bolt and you can control the stack uh, grade bolt grade also from here i'm going to take uh, a325 n uh, as you record you can uh, choose any any value depends upon your requirement and tolerance also you can control from here uh, 
and mod it you can see the result here mod it okay now the board size changed similarly like that you can control the plate height from the top of the beam from here here top indicates the distance from top of beam to first bolt value for example i'm i'm going to take uh, for example 6 inches i'm going to make the modify then you can see clearly here result modify now the distance between the top of the beam to bolt is 6 inches you can change anything for example if you want to place it at the exact middle of the beam then come here and choose middle option and leave it as it is uh, this option will be blank and then modify now the this plate at the middle of this beam as per your requirement you can change anything for example i'm going, going to take top and uh, enter the value 4 inch from the top of the beam to first bolt and modify it here now the top of the beam to first bolt is 4 inches you can control from here okay after that wait a you and select this column no correction once again uh, here here indicates uh, for this length of the connection plate you can control from here uh, this is the edge distance uh, from first bolt to edge of the plate here I'm going to take a two one and a half inch one feet six inches no 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 I'm going to take one uh, 1.5 inch one one and a half inch then number of bolts I'm going to take four inches for example I'm going to take four inches and uh, uh, four bolts here Created four bolts and the distance between bolts you can control from here. I am going to take uh, three inches and edge distance from last bolt to edge 1.5 inch and modify and then modify. Here you can see now the edge of the plate to first bolt is one and a half inch and then here created four bolts uh, from this value you can create four bolts and three indicates the distance between bolts and one and a half indicates the distance between bolt to edge here you can control uh, lengthwise from here for example i'm going to take two inches between the four four bolts and modify it here now the edge distance is one and a half for two inches two inches two inch one and a half like that you can control from here uh, for width wise you have you have to control from here uh, for example i'm going to take two bolts and modify here you can see now two bolts uh, distance between two bolts we can control from here for example i'm going to take uh, two inches modify here you can control the distance from edge of the beam to first bolt from in this option for example i'm going to take two inches and modify here you can see now the edge of the beam to first bolt is two inches it indicates the value this option now the beam to first bolt is two inches and then bolt to bolt distance i'm going to take 2.5 inches after that you can control this edge distance from this option 1.5 inch modify here up to now we have seen how to control this base plate is this connection plate shear tab connection plate thickness and width length and number of bolts and size of the bolt also okay now uh, for this stiffener option we have to go to stiffness tab here a uh, near side and far side like this you can control this thickness from here by default it will take uh, total length of the uh, beam uh, web column web how much column web is there and the stiffener will be like that only okay i'm going to enter the thickness of the stiffener 1 by 8 1 by 8 1 by 8 and 1 by 8 here top near side top far side top near side top far side uh, indicates the far, near side means uh, this one far side that one for, for sometimes it will be opposite also we will see at this moment i'm going to enter here thickness is one by eight uh, this thickness will change 
as per this thickness i am going to modify it modify here you can see this is 1 by 8 similarly like that you can change how much thickness you want as per requirement you can change the thickness i am going to take 1 by 4 instead of 1 by 8 modify it here you can see result you can see the result from here okay after that if you don't uh, if you don't want uh, any stiffener for example if you don't need top two stiffeners then come here make it zero and zero modify it then top two stiffeners will be gone similarly like that if you don't need this uh, bottom two stiffeners also come here and enter the value zero and modify it it will be gone you can if you require you can make it the thickness here how much you want 1 by 4 I am going to enter this value only modify it it generated it means this is a near side stiffener uh, that side is far side stiffener you can enter here if you need you can enter value if you don't need then enter the value 0 Uh, if you need any gap between the flange inside flange to stiffener then enter the value here for example i am going to take uh, 1 by 4 inch and modify here you can see the gap is 1 by 4 similarly like that we can uh, adjust this uh, distance gap or if you don't need then leave it blank you can control this chamfer uh, from this option from this option you can control this chamfer also uh, for example i'm going to take the here 1 by 4 is to 1 by 16 and 1 by 16 and modify you can see result here modify this is the 1 by 16 value like that uh, as per company standards how much chamfer you want to generate you can create here from here for example i'm going to take 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 1 by 4 you can see the result here modify now this uh, chamfer value is 1 by 4 by 1 by 4 you can control like that from this option after now we see we have seen how to control this uh, connection and everything modify and apply okay and then redraw it here yeah, like that this is the stiffener connection if you want to apply the same property to this here also then double click on it once and apply and apply click on apply and ok apply means you are going to save this property for the next connection go to the application component control f shortcut then click on it and close select the column and then pin here you can see the same options which you are entered here that that connection similarly like this here also can you you have to use that apply, apply option then only this property will apply to this also you can control like this if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech videos go to my channel here you can watch from here please click on subscribe button uh, if you subscribe you will get notification when i upload new videos thank you